Welcome to the Egyptian campaign for Davidi at Impera 1.2. In the last part, the focus was very much on this area, and we pushed hard against Pontus through here. And we've now captured a key settlement in the center here. Oops, let's get back that back. Um, and Korea in a pretty good siege. And if you actually look at the map, you can see how this settlement here dominates the region. It controls a lot of the access paths because you've only got this one here. So effectively, invading armies have to come through this area here. Oh, we got something here. I think... Do I need... Oh, we got lots and lots of characters pushing this up, driving that down for the moment. I think what we'll do is we'll get that in there, get a bit of cash going. I'm very, very inclined when maybe the next turn we'll get this up. What's the food in this area? Minus three. That will improve the food. What I would like to do is take that down because this has got iron and I'd like to kind of get the weapons upgrade in this area. As I say, this area has been the main focus. Over here, life's been fairly quiet and I'm quite happy to leave it that way. So I don't know if Carthage has actually got themselves into a war with somebody. They're at war with the Averni now. It's up here. Uh, here. So they're obviously distracted. Which is good. Because that will give me the peace. Over in this area, the Sukhalids are coming back, which is slightly worrying. And I think what I need to do is, even if I don't start fighting here, I think it's time to start preparing to actually just keep coming back this way. And I think I'm going to I'll take this army north in the last part. But I'm a bit inclined to bring this army down. Yeah, we've got lots and lots of public order in here, I think. How high? Got plus 22, so I think that can still benefit with these guys doing a bit of patrolling, push it up even higher so that we get there because this is a very, very rich region. Goats here. Public order squalor, but we'll, we'll do look at the buildings in a little while. Uh, before I started, I think we're going to deploy uh, Melissa here just to try and stabilize this area. We've got this Sardis army hanging around rebels, but I don't think they're actually going to be a problem because I think the garrison here is back up to strength. And what I want to do is bring this army through. And I think what I'm going to do is disband these guys and get a Tarantine cavalry in here. I think it's time to start upgrading my armies. And I think what I want to do is bring this army maybe down to about here. Because this is this obviously side's a bit more stable and these guys are quite expensive so I think maybe we will expand these guys don't need them they were mercenaries don't we recruit anything here we've got cavalry here yeah, Ptolemaic swordsmen we've got one two three four swordsmen we've got spear front line we've got archers I've recruited these guys I don't know why I think I was just I think, I think maybe we're, we'll give Noble the mountain dogs another go. What we got here. And I think we'll get some more creation archers in here. The mountain dogs. Do we need more of a front line? Then we got four sets of swordsmen. We got some pikes. Kind of they're inclined here, guys, to... Oh, what have we got here? Thorax Swordsman, 58. 
86. They look good. I think maybe we're getting another one of these guys. I, I don't want to go up to a, a full size army just yet because I don't want to drain all my cash away. And of course, this guy probably won't, can't recruit. He's a, he's a bit damaged. And what ideally, what I'd like to do is bring this army up. To replenish. In fact, I think what I might do is sort this area out, deal with the rebels. These these guys can go up to stabilize this area, and then this will release this army to maybe come back and refurbish a bit. It does need a bit of refurbishment. Um, again, we've got a little bit of catch with 14,000. How are you for cavalry? You've got plenty of cavalry. Ready for orders. Got swordsmen. Actually, what, what have you got in the way of? Got Judean arm, arm archers. They're 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 not too bad. And they've got a bit of rank. It's a bit. I think would be. Ready for battle. Elephants. I'd love to. I'd love to fight with elephants, but I don't think the time is quite ready yet, guys. Start using elephants. I do like these Thor experiments, so I think maybe we're through a couple more. And what I'm thinking, guys, is this will be a front front line arm army whose job is going to be reinforcing. How can I assist this has got public order issues, so I think I think I'm gonna pull you back so you can't get you ambushed. In theory sentence. these guys shouldn't attack if they do. Is that all, my lord? Just Any kind of cream them up a bit. Is left behind. I mean I don't know what the relationships are. Guys, yeah, they're friendly. All, hopefully, they're all friendly round here. I'll I give you greeting and my attention. Sards don't like us, but we will. So hopefully, they won't take us out of arbitrary. But you can never tell with the AI. The AI does strange things. We got these armies in position. We got our tiny little navy down here. Let's see what we can do. I've got a feeling this part, guys, is going to be quite a lot of just tidying things up. 12,000 got here. Public order here. The public order here is a bit icky dicky. What can I do for I Egypt? Maybe we're I don't care how tired you are. Just to keep things go happy there. Syria plus seven public order here. Got slave capability here. Food pub requires trained slave resource. I think what I would like to do is get some food in here. Right. Obviously, we can't build this up here. That'll give me another hundred wealth. They give me level two cavalry on recruitment. That's going to consume food. Well, we got a little bit of food surplus, so maybe we'll just go with that, guys. Let's have a quick check. Actually, where was I recruiting cavalry? My lord. Well, it doesn't say. Does that mean they have to be recruited in this area? That'd be a bit of a downer. That's what recruitment. Okay, that isn't such a good idea. Got more horse. Ah, uh, we'll give it a go, guys. But I won't waste the money. See if we can find something else. 
to invest in. This make all the growth that we don't really growth we virtually maxed out. Probably do we converting this to something else now. That will give me a bit more cash. Food. There's no food here. Uh, I think we'll be back for the moment. Mesopotamia. 1250. I don't know why I'm flipping around this stuff. One all public order. Wow, it's got massive public order issues. Okay, now it's got public order issues. Everything has got massive public order issues. Right, after that long deliberation, guys, I think I'm just going to hang on to the cash. If we can get something a bit more upmarket. Well guys, Agent Exposed, all declare Rome against the Trapezoids Usurpers. Oh. Courage population in Mesopotamia, that's nice. Got a homestead, enemy army retreats. Now what actually did happen during the end turn, just here, the Roman armies were flashing up, crossing this border, so I think what I need to do is get my agent down here just to see what the heck's going on. Wow. There is honor in service. That's gonna make life interesting. I think I'm gonna simply leave you here. And I put my other agent here. I am your champion, my lord. The gods guide my footsteps. Let's see who Rome is actually at war with. They're not actually at war with Pope Pontus at the moment. Pizoids. Okay. Oh, Come the then, speak. Nope. Right, so Rome is here. And wow. These are going not only Principes, Terrari, wow. The veteran sea. That's one, two, three, four. Four legions. And that is going to be interesting. Sardis did us a little bit of a favour here. They actually drove off the rebels. What I'm actually going to do is the gods guide my footsteps. Send this army up. I think this army's defend. We this army needs you, to fall Lord. back. And actually replenishing now. That's good. Uh, maybe I don't quite need this army at the moment. In fact, what I'm inclined to do is bring this army back this way. And this army can come this way to reinforce what can I do this frontier. Okay, we're going to need to keep an eye on these guys. Got a feeling we might not get a battle in this part. And I'm inclined to bring this army to bring you there first. Get you Susa. Your orders, my lord. Got garrison of eighteen, an army there. I think you can just. I don't 
don't really want to kick off any major confrontation down here just at the moment guys simply because I've only got the two armies down here I think what I will do diplomacy wise set a war target there I think on this area here if I set a war target here these guys might be a bit tempted to go in and have a go and then what we might be able to do is sneak up and support them that could be an opportunity there so maybe we need a little bit of tactics this army is close. I mean, could I? I live to serve Spurrow. How's the big of a garrison? Sinop. I've also got two navies. Trouble is, these these armies could move incredibly quickly and catch me out. And I don't particularly want that because they can equally come up here. See, there's a Pontus army here. Actually, let's subversion. Show of force. Targets like Brass. They will learn to fear us. Fear in the shadow, thanks to your champion, increasing harassment. Fear makes him weak. I'm going to review this plan. Guys, oh, this army is coming this way. No one's going to really come round this way. I think I'm going to bring this army up. This border. Your next command, my lord. We're going to go into ambush right on that border. Definitely need to swap these two armies round. Get this army back to refurbish. Okay. Check over here. One thing that you've got to do, guys, just gotta when you've got a frontier like this, you just need to just make sure no one's trying to sneak through the front door. Okay, guys, this Palmyra Republic order from Squalor actually has this army in patrol. Ready for orders. Nope. The gods guide my footsteps. Palmyra happy to do that. Death Thrilled. Down here, you've got plenty of public order. It's general here. I think. That give me right, both both the die market and the glassmaker. That gives me wealth and commerce. So they're both roughly the same. I think, think we'll go with Tyros first, guys. Because Salamas is exposed. Any other quick wins? Actually, let's go up to here. And check the settlement here, right? This settlement's got. And I think we're, we are going to knock back down. Get that underway. We've got a bit of cash to spend. I think what I'm going to do is I know I'm concentrating all my all dog unit so I know very much I'm concentrating Grecian archers expensive Judean archers I think Syrian heavy archers these guys have got the greater range I think I'll get a couple of these guys support this area here. Right, I think that's all we can do this turn, guys. Right, hidden agent exposed. Target, your arrows prepared against it's just a poor target, thank you. Not that they're going to do anything, but don't like Sardis 
a round up here. I'm just gonna, gonna put you in this area here. Very, very inclined to come down and attack Sinop. My lord. But yeah, I think we're going to go for it, guys. Ready for I'm going to use this army because it's got the double artillery. With next command, my I'll bring lord. this army up to port. In peril's name. Action encountered. Roxalani. Okay, let's see. The Roxalani are going to. Nah, they don't like us. What the heck are they doing all the way up there? How the heck did I? Okay. Please you guys be traitable. I am sure your words carry greetings, most excellent friend. Yeah, I think I think we need to take out and liberate Sidop. Push the. Pops us back a bit further. Forth, my lord. Good thing here is this lot seem to be taking a little bit of attrition because there's so many in this area. What right we got here? Certainly want that in there. Just to get this built up. This area is coming around really, really nicely now. I don't like these guys wandering around, being a nuisance. Okay. So tempted. Ready for orders. I think I've got a little bit. I uh, don't really want to keep draining all my cash out. That's the problem. I want a bit of a war chest. Public order minus ten. Public order. Moment that's four, so that will increase the public order by six. There's fourteen. Now I'm already building that there, so I've got a lot of eggs in one basket here. Um, down here. That will give me minus four public order. That's eight. With this, that's going to give me a little bit more income, a little bit more food in the empire. See if there's anything better to build. Still looking at this. Um, I'm gonna knock this. this is giving me plus four public order. I think I'm gonna knock this down actually, guys. I think it's served its purpose. I'll get this in down here. And we're gonna hang on to the rest of the cash, guys. So here we go, so we're gonna go for another end tone, guys. Right, there's a route's blocked. Great. And so we've now got that there. Inspired population in Mesopotamia. Conditions. Just want to look at this because if we go to Mesopotamia, what's the actual 90? So we actually get plus eight percent tax rate for inspired. I think this is the point guys that you need to keep public order high because you get benefits from your regions and I think it's time to these Pizoid and usurpers who are these where did these come from oh these are trapezoidus usurpers there okay my lord, let them cower before our mind. Right, it says a lot of navies here. Wow. Um, yeah. right, okay. All it does is that just take out one unit. I don't think that's really worth the effort. Yeah. Right, guys, this could be. Who's got the Pontiac Spearman? These guys could be a challenge, but I think we're going to fight it. I mean, I'm not going to trust the auto-resolve. If 
they come out at. And of course the downside with the mechanic with Rome 2 is the fact that they may not be able to get all their navy ashore. So we could end up with an impasse in the fact that their navy won't get ashore so we may have to wait for the and that will give us a problem. Okay guys. Let's have a look. A bit kind of light, wishy washy. I think what we will do is have. I think they're liable to come out this way. Might land over there. Oh, I have the. Is it me or does the map look a bit? light coloured. I'll have to check it when the video comes out. I think gonna do is the hoplites in the centre pikeman! of the pikemen outside them. We are at your command. If we can draw them out. Have our yeah, this map definitely looks a bit weird. I think we're going to keep the general in the back this time. I think we'll have the a good chance the navy will come ashore over there. So I think we'll be okay. I think we'll keep you on this flank. I've just got lots and lots of swordsmen. Take you off far at will. And over here, take you far at will. We want to keep the, the javelins if possible. Just want to get you on flammable rounds. Oh, they have got some cavalry. Okay, guys. Approaching. Yep. Yep, I think there's something a bit weird with this map, guys. back behind the line. Yeah, they got straight into them. The One of our units got has them. used all its Flank. We are at your commanding Quarantine cavalry. Into these Pontiac archers. Okay. Archers you off on this flank to deal with these guys. Quarantine cavalry in on these Pontiac archers. We await your orders. Orders, my lord. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Guys focus fire on these marines. They come in. Right. 
general wrath or out you Quarantine cavalry. Archers over here. Tarantine back off here. Over here, guys. Got here. Our general is under attack. Pull back. Wait. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Okay. General, pull back. Tarantine cavalry, take a pull back. This. We are at your command and for ready. In guys. What are you Come on, order? break them, break them. Our orders. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Draw them back, draw them back. General in. This guy's there. No, go back, go back. Push through, push through. Pull back, pull back. These guys there. Tarantine Cavalry, need to break off this front here. Okay. Okay, let's get this, get this sorted out guys, this is getting very, very ragged. Guys pull back. They should be able to deal with those. Archers! Archers pull back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right. These guys are kind of caught out. This line's way too ragged. Hey, come up, pike one. Guys, they're losing decisively. Come on, break them, break them, break them. Guys, are broken. Fingers. Hey, oh, come on. Then we'll break off. Okay. Hey. 
The men are wavering. Yep. <sighs> Break these idiots, come on. Cavalry sweep the back. Let's take out these guys, these archers. They, they're giving us a lot. Giving us a lot of jip. Generals back away. We're now starting to break them. Yep, breaking them, guys. Guys are still looking strong. Yeah, they're breaking now. They're now coming under intense fault fire. Right. Certainly gonna wreck these navies. Certainly want to do that. Okay. Here. General, cop. Just gonna speed up, guys. A little bit of a messy battle with that cavalry, uh, navy coming in, but I think we've done it. I think we. We didn't take too many casualties, they're fairly evenly spread. I think we can really, really whop, whop up their air navies. I think this effectively takes away Pontus's navies. Okay, guys, I think that's it. Quick battle, end battle. Yeah, I think this. We lost 373. Wow. A lot, a lot of friendly fire there too much fire, fire friendly fire <laughs> raise liberate sack well we're gonna liberate that effectively takes away a lot of Oops. trying to preempt and we Brought certainly want this army back this way. And we've now got the Scoins of Sinop. And I think this army certainly earned its what can I do reputation. For I think what I am going to do is take advantage. Make haste, Come man. down here. It's a little bit of a chance, guys. And I think we're gonna, you can give him that. And I think you can give 
the general the no. keep the baggage chain um guys are a little bit damaged uh, that'd be okay if this army's fully furbished what have you got in the way of archers you've got Ptolemaic archers a little bit of I think what I'm going to do is you can swap that for a slinger and then I'll bring this army back and we can actually get rid of the slingers and maybe get some better archers although yeah you're a junk slinger anyway so I think we'll just go with that and upgrading it looks good yeah so and this army can come back and actually what we could probably do yeah 4373 you don't have 82 no, 3 you guys you Ptolemaic swordsman you're Thorex Swordsman, you're 82-48. I mean, again, these guys have got a lot of seniority. I just don't. I think what we will do is get rid of. Who was the one I came over? You're, pro you're Jewish Slingers. What have we got here, guys? You've got the better weapons damage for some reason than these guys. So I think what we'll do is get rid of you and then this army can pull back, refurbish, get maybe a second set of artillery, it would have to come all the way up to here. In fact I think what I might do is I take you out, oh, no. you can recruit the artillery so I think yeah, we got the money for it. Okay. Kiron. Yeah, okay. I think what I'm going to do is bring this army this back this way. I shouldn't have retreated them back that way. And you can just patrol your way back here. You can, once you get to about here. Oh, that's not that far. Uh, we'll refurbish our faction leader. Okay, I think. How's the public order here? It's still good. I think you can just stay there in an ambush position at the moment. I don't think I need to build you up that much more. You can keep an eye on these Yozos. I don't trust them completely. In fact, I think Ready for orders. I might do. Can I can I get some Tarantine cavalry in here? Yeah. Come join our ranks. I'll put some cavalry into that. These guys don't. I've got. Okay. Over here, I saw some movement during the end turn, and I think this is going to bring you. Out this way. Just to keep an eye. I mean, we could sneak in here. It's got a garrison of 18. We've only got 12. And we've got these guys. Okay, I think what I'm going to do. Uh, they're liable to come this way. So, at your command. Your next command, my lord. Help our ambush. Egypt but asks much of its servants. I think we'll just lurk in an ambush there, just in case these guys sneak through. And, right, I'm just going to do the cash. I think this is where I'm going to leave it, guys. Right, we've got here. We'll do five. 
growth. Don't really need growth. I think maybe the lesser public order would be more beneficial. Buildings are just getting so expensive to build up. Ah, all the tasks are so I think we're we'll getting food or industry, food or industry. I, mean, I could build a workshop here and then knock down the workshop because this is more centrally placed. I mean, that could be an option, guys. Because my current workshop is right over here, which is in the kind of province. Yeah, I think I'm going to build a workshop here. We, we got the... Oh, we still a bit short on food but yeah I think I'm gonna build a workshop here and then eventually this workshop can come down and we will wood importing importing any wood wow Nobody's export that value of export right though no, guys. Right, I think this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. Um I'm I've been aware recently that I've been making these videos go over to far too long. So what I'm actually gonna do is try and make them a bit more short but shorter. I'm kind of coming up to the hour. I think this is where I'm gonna so this is where I'm gonna leave it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it interesting, and until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming. <laughs>